story begins with Drew. Her and her friends, Walker, Shane, and Shauna, you know, they're pissed off at a couple people named Tabby and Lee. Uh, because a few years ago, Tabby and Lee had a Halloween party, and they pulled this prank where, like, they had to, like, do push-ups because they pretended that someone broke in and forced them to do push-ups. So they got really pissed off. So they're like, okay, next year we're going to get revenge. So they try to get revenge by having a Halloween party that can scare the fucking hell out of them. But they don't show up. So they're like, okay, next year we'll do better. And it is this year now. So Drew's like, yo, um, what the fuck we gon' do? And Shane and Sean are like, oh, just leave it to us. All you need to do is convince Tabby and Lee to go trick-or-treating with us. Which Drew does. And, um, you know, she's like, yo, this is gonna be great. We're gonna get them back. But then, Mom shows up. Mom is here now. And she says, you're not going trick-or-treating. And Drew's like, why? Well, see, it turns out that there are, like, four people that have gone missing. All adult people who are fat. And uh, it just seems a little odd. And Mom's just like, no, you're not going out and when people are missing. So, you know, she's sad. But it turns out Drew's dad has other plans. Dad comes to the rescue, uppercuts Mom, and says, Go trick-or-treating, you motherfucker. So she goes trick-or-treating. Anyways, they're trick-or-treating now. And they encounter some pumpkin heads. And the pumpkin heads are like, Yo, follow us, bitch. Wait, no. I should probably do their voice correctly. Yo, follow us, bitch. We know a place where you can go trick-or-treating forever. So they follow him. And turns out, holy shit, it's a neighborhood with a bunch of cramped housing. Yeah, lots of houses right next to each other. Perfect for trick-or-treating. So like, hell yeah, we're gonna get a lot of candy. So they go trick-or-treating for a long-ass time. And their bags are full now. And the creatures are like, Yo, your bags are full. You need to eat. And so the kids start eating the candy because they're kind of being forced to do so. And, you know, none of them are enjoying it. All of them are, like, crying and having a very bad time. So, you know, uh, they're, they're all pissed off. Not really. They're not pissed off. They're extremely scared and they want to go home. But, you know, the pumpkin heads, they're like, No, you must trick a treat forever. And so they keep trick-or-treating. But eventually, I don't even remember what happened specifically, but somehow Tabby and Lee piss off the pumpkin heads. And the pumpkin heads just start going, <laughs> And turns out there's a bunch of pumpkin heads now. And the pumpkin heads have other pumpkins to put on the heads of the four. And Tabby and Lee start freaking out because they get pumpkins put on their head. And they used to run away. And, uh, but, you know, Drew and Walker are still there. And it turns out, holy fuck, holy shit, the pumpkin heads were Shane and Shauna. This was all part of the plan. And so they start walking home because they have a fuck ton of candy. And they have a fuck ton of candy because it turns out that Shane and Shauna, uh, you know, they're aliens. And they don't eat candy. They're shape-shifting aliens that don't eat candy specifically. And so, you know, Drew, Drew's like chowing down on some candy. She has this ponderous ponder. She's like, yo, Shane, Shauna, what do you eat? Shane and Shauna, you know, they grab her arm. They're like, hmm. Uh, you're a little too skinny and a little too young to find out. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool beans. Oh, check it out.
Um, we won't kill you if you tell us who's doing this. Who brought you and your other friends into this world. I'll rip your head off. You know, for once I agree with you. Get him. <laughs> what can I say? I make them drop dead. 